Surveyors have worked for decades to create a tremendously accurate reference system across the United States that helps to find such things as property boundaries and floodplains and is used in many other applications. Today's geodetic datums are defined using data that has been collected since the 1800s and augmented with data and models that use today's state-of-the-art technology. Advances in science and technology, like the Global Positioning System, or GPS, let us build models and tools with greater precision and accuracy than was possible in the past. The North American datum of 1983, called NAD83, is the horizontal datum for the United States. NAD83 is based on a set of approximately 250,000 points. These points have positions that were determined both through the extensive triangulation network established over decades and newer GPS observations. All of these points were constrained to a geocentric origin, specifically the center of an ellipsoid model, which is a commonly used mathematical figure approximating the shape of the Earth. With the help of more recent satellite-based observations, we now know that NAD 83 is misaligned to the most modern definitions of latitude and longitude by over 2 meters. Our ability to detect this misalignment comes from the current, more accurate understanding of the true center of the Earth. This offset causes many inconsistencies in mapping products referenced to NAD 83 versus the datum based on the true center of the Earth. Looking at the vertical reference frame, the North American Vertical Datum of 1988, or NAVD88, is based on an extensive network of leveling observations from across the country. To make the network of observations internally consistent, one value was held constant, the local mean sea level value at Father Point, Rimouski, Quebec, Canada. Every leveling observation includes some random observational error as well as theoretical errors. While this averages out to less than half a millimeter per mile, these errors actually accumulate to a total error of more than one meter between Miami, Florida and Seattle, Washington. Additionally, the NAD83 positions and the NAVD88 elevations are inconsistent with the more accurate, up-to-date models that have evolved with advances in technology. These up-to-date models allow us to create a more accurate reference frame than the surveying methods and tools used in the past. Because we still need to use NAD83 positions and the NAVD88 elevations today, we have to artificially alter the updated models to fit with the existing reference systems. Much of the NAD83 and NAVD88 reference systems rely on marks in the ground that you must be able to physically access. Unfortunately, this physical infrastructure deteriorates over time. Marks often get disturbed. Sometimes this is accidental, as when landowners inadvertently destroy a mark on their property. Other times, marks are destroyed when roads are rebuilt or widened. Marks are intended to be very stable, so we attach them to the earth as permanently as possible. However, physical events like frost heave or subsidence can move a mark if it is not attached to something more stable, like a deep bedrock structure. Any motion of a mark requires that coordinates be updated over time, an expensive and time-consuming task. We do have strategies for replacing marks that are about to be disturbed or destroyed, but it takes time and effort. It would be prohibitively expensive to duplicate the level of physical effort and labor used to create our current datums. To address the problems with the physical infrastructure of our current datums and to integrate information from the most current technology, NOAA's National Geodetic Survey plans to establish new datums to replace NAD83 and NAVD88.